This is my little Bantam, which I've had for years. Spent a long time in bits in the shed. Um, finally got it together um, a few months ago and sort of been toying with it in between and doing other things since. As you can see, I've done it in uh, post office livery. Having used to be uh, for a short while a postman myself, and although it's not a post office uh, or GPO rather bike, um, except for the wheels, I think, because they were when I scraped the paint back originally red. Um, so I can assume that at least the wheels were <laughs> GPO, if nothing else, uh, and. Uh, you can see, refurbish that and put it back to, I've only done 39 miles on it, put it back to uh, to zero when I refurbed it. Um, tank is over here. You can see there's a little ER on the side. Uh, but I have had some running issues with it. Um, points just keep going out get it running lovely on tick over um, but then uh, anything over a sort of 30 or under load it start pinging tried adjusting it nothing seemed to make any difference thought maybe it's running weak maybe it's had an air leak so I put uh, got a new slide in the carburetor I even fitted a um, temporary carburet, which was one of these uh, little cheap Dill Auto things. It did actually run on it. It's just a 19, uh, 19mm, these cheap Chinese things. A little bit tinkering to actually get it to run, but still have the same, same issues. So I'll put it down to the ignition and as you can see I've got the rotor and everything off because I'm waiting for an electrics uh, ignition, an electronic ignition system. Um, well, one thing I do regret is not actually filming any of this when I put it back together. And the reason I think well, for my problem is the stator plate. This is where the uh, points would normally sit. On, on this, this is the pivot point. I don't know if you can see, but that is loose. That will actually move quite a bit. So obviously when, uh, when it's running, you can set your points and everything correctly, set your time and everything correctly. But once you get going and this starts moving around, it's obviously going to affect the points gap and therefore the timing. So I'm pretty sure that was the, the problem all along. Uh, um, once the new uh, ignition system turns up and get that fitted and uh, out on the road, We'll then find out whether it was that or not. Um, but that's the only thing I can really put it down to. But we shall see.